Well, I hope you're having a good day. It is cloudy outside, and today is Cloudy Day Science. So we're going to be talking a lot about the clouds. And I am excited because whenever I look at the clouds, it's always fun to look and see what shapes they are. And I'm going to do a little game here on my table with you about the shapes and the pictures that we can see in the sky when we look at the clouds. So changing cameras to a picture of the sky. There we go. Yeah, when I'm walking, when I'm riding in a car on a long trip and we're going somewhere, sometimes I look outside and I look at the sky and I imagine to see shapes um, and, and animals and things in the clouds. So we're gonna play a little game with the pictures that I printed out and let's see what we can find. What kind of animals can we find in our pictures of the clouds today? We're gonna to do a little bit of tracing. So I, the first one I see when I see this great big sky with some big puffy clouds is, and you probably see it already too, do you see the fish? I'm going to trace around, and there's my little fish all around. There's his mouth, and coming around, and the top of his fins, and back to his tail. Yep, fish in the sky. So another thing that I saw when I looked at this particular picture is I saw a guy riding a snowmobile. Can you see him? All right, let's see if we can find him. Here's the guy, his head with his winter hat on, and his face down here, and then he's hanging on to the controls of a snowmobile. See that? And there's the skis. And then off he goes back over to here. So, yep. Can you see the guy riding the snowmobile? <laughs> there he is. So it, it's really fun to do. Um, I really love to look at the sky, especially the puffy clouds. Now here's another one. What do you see in that one? Take a look. Take a second. Well, here's what I saw. A poodle. Can you see the fluffy poodle head and the dog's nose and the dog's mouth and the dog's chin? And around here, fluffy poodle legs, fluffy poodle body, fluffy poodle tail, more legs, more fluff. Ta-da! Poodle dog in the sky! <laughs> oh, he needs an eye. There he is. Ta-da! Fluffy poodle dog riding in the sky. And sometimes I may have even been riding in an airplane and I look out and, you know, when I look to the side and out the window, I can see crazy, crazy shapes in the sky. Now this one I think is probably the easiest one to guess. What do you think that is? <laughs> I hope that you can see a bunny because that's what I see. There's a bunny ears, bunny body, wiggly bunny nose, bunny eye. Actually it looks like a little dog right now. And then his little paws, little bunny paws, and a bunny in the sky. <laughs> or a dog with big floppy ears, either one. But there is amazing things to use your imagination with um, if you look in at the sky and the clouds. So now I'm gonna switch my camera back and we're gonna do a couple of hands-on activities that you can do with me. Um, so we see pictures in the clouds, but what are clouds really made out of? That's kind of an interesting thing to think about. Well, clouds are made up of really tiny water droplets or ice crystals, depending on you know how high they are or what time of year it is. And water, little tiny droplets of water. Water is a crazy thing because it can be uh, liquid, <laughs> it can be uh, solid like ice, and it can also be a gas, and that's called water vapor. And so little tiny droplets of water vapor evaporate when the sun comes out, heats up, and the, there's water vapor in the air, and that evaporates and goes higher and higher. And as it gets higher and higher in the sky, it gets colder because it's near space. And space is very, very cold. But anyway, the higher our atmosphere, the colder it gets. And it condenses. It condenses and little tiny water droplets kind of cling together and form clouds. So Let's just do a condensation experiment so that you can see what condensation means. And I'm going to step behind my 
my little desk here and show you what you can do. So if you have a Ziploc bag, I'm going to make it a little fun. I'm going to draw a little diagram kind of of the water cycle on my bag. First, because the water cycle always starts with the sun, I'm going to draw a big old sun on my Ziploc bag because that's what's heating up the atmosphere and forming the water vapor and the droplets. There's my sun on the bag. All right, and so then I'm gonna put some clouds to on my bag because that's gonna simulate condensation. That's how the clouds are formed. So I drew some clouds on my bag over at the side. And then we need a source of water, so I'm gonna do a lake with my blue marker on the bottom of my bag. So now I've got a picture. The sun comes out, heats up everything, and the water vapor evaporates up into the clouds where, or up to the atmosphere where it cools off in the atmosphere, condenses and forms clouds. So I drew a little picture on my bag just to make it fun. So how are we gonna do this? I've got a Ziploc bag and I put it down like this. And I have just a little bit of blue. No, actually, I have green. I have green food coloring that I'm going to put in my water. Now, I've got some warm water from the faucet, really kind of warm water, and I'm putting some coloring in it so you can see it better on camera here. Um, green water. <laughs> Maybe this will be the green ocean. And I'm gonna put this warm water inside my Ziploc bag. I'm gonna pour it all in. Nice, warm water. There we go. Okay, so what's gonna happen now? I'm gonna seal up my bag. And let's see if we can kind of watch the water cycle take place. Now that is very warm water. And as you can see, and if you do this at home, you can start to see it almost immediately. A little bit of condensation or steam, water vapors and little water droplets are collecting on my bag. And I'm gonna put a white piece of paper behind it so you can see it maybe a little better. There, can you see it? And I'll hold it a little closer to the camera too. But I'm getting condensation on the sides of my bag and little water droplets. Can you see? Oh, it's kind of like a cloud in a bag. Um, the little water droplets are condensing on the side of my bag. Now, if I go like this, hit it, some of them will collect together and actually rain down a little bit. <laughs> but you can, you can watch this. And you can set that there, and as it cools, you'll see more little water droplets condense on the edge of your bag, and you've got a little <laughs> water cycle diagram. So another thing you can do is um, you can actually take some tape and tape it to your window um, in, in, on a sunny window, and that will heat it up, and you'll see more condensation over a few hours on your bag because the Ziploc traps the moisture in the bag and then it condenses on the edge of the bag. You can, if you want to see something immediately even more, you can take a hair dryer and hit it and heat it up and you'll get even more condensation. But if you want to watch it slowly over a couple hours, tape it to a sunny window and see what happens. But there you go, condensation in a bag. <laughs> Pretty awesome. So I'm gonna set that down on the floor. And we are going to check out some pictures of clouds. You know, we were saying that clouds do look different. Every, every cloud looks different. Sometimes they're big and fluffy, and sometimes they have sharp edges. The ones that, um, they just look different depending on how much moisture is in them. So some of them are really, really light and fluffy and there's a picture of that for you and then there's some that are really just dark and gray and they have the most moisture because the sunlight can't penetrate all the way through so we're going to talk about the kinds of clouds that we have now um, the first cloud that i like to talk about is the cirrus cloud 
that's the highest cloud that forms and it's mean it's wispy and it's thin and it's way high up in the highest altitude so it's cold and it's usually made out of ice crystals and they almost have a wispy feather-like shape and the next cloud picture that we're going to show you is a cumulus cloud and the word cumulus means a heap or a pile <laughs> and they aren't up quite as high as the cirrus clouds but they're, they usually have a flat bottom and they rise up and they fluff all out just like some of the pictures that we were drawing on earlier. Big and fluffy and, and, um, and really cool. Lots of feathery stuff. The next one, the picture that we're going to show you is a stratus cloud. And that means, stratus means layer. So it's kind of like a blanket of clouds across the whole sky. Big blanket across great distances like your whole region will probably if it's a stratus cloud it's a front moving through it's going to be blanketed nice and thick and kind of gray a little bit like it is today the stratus cloud layers and layers of thick clouds and then the last picture that we're going to show you is a cloud that means rain it's a nimbus cloud a rainy cloud and it always brings precipitation. That's part of the water cycle. Evaporation, condensation, precipitation. And it's the nimbus cloud that means rain or snow. So <laughs> now what we're going to do is we're going to make our own clouds with shaving cream. So if you've brought with you today, I'm going to get out the supplies. If you brought with you today some shaving cream, and some plates. We're going to make all of those four different kinds of clouds and it's kind of like finger painting <laughs> with shaving cream. So what I'm going to do is shake up my shaving cream, shake, 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 and put some summer onto my plate. So for this first cloud, the cirrus cloud, I don't need a whole lot of it. So what did we say cirrus clouds look like? Yeah, they were very thin and very wispy and very high up, almost feather-like. So take your fingers and kind of draw on your plate and do some thin, thin, wispy, wispy, wispy. I have too much shaving cream. Thin, thin, wispy, wispy clouds way up high. And sometimes they curl like a horse's tail. Okay, I've got way too much shaving cream on this for the cirrus clouds. That's kind of what they look like. They're thin and they're wispy. I'm going to put the excess shaving cream over here so you can see what I'm doing. Woo! Thin, thin, wispy, wispy clouds with lots of spaces and lots of blue sky in between. So there's our cirrus clouds. All right, so now the next type of cloud, remember, we talked about was a cumulus cloud. And I'm going to use some of this excess shaving cream here. <laughs> <laughs> and cumulus meant a whole big pile. And these are the ones that I like to look out the window and see sh shapes in. Okay, so there's some. And I think I'm going to put a little bit more on my plate because big piles of cumulus clouds. Ta-da! Check that out. A big pile of cumulus clouds. And you can make a big pile. Maybe we can see if we can draw a poodle in it. <laughs> Big piles. And they tend to be fluffy and maybe spaced apart a little, little bit like that. Floating by in the sky. Cumulus clouds. <laughs> I love the play with shaving cream. Okay, so the next one that we're going to do is the stratus cloud. Now remember I said that was layers of clouds, like a blanket. So. I am going to take some of my shaving cream and scoop it from my cumulus clouds and I'm going to make a stratus cloud. Check that out. Woo! <laughs> I am making a layer, a whole big blanket layer of shaving cream to make my stratus cloud. Check that out. Whoa. There. Can you see that? There's my layer. Add another layer. It's a big blanket over the whole area. 
And if I had some food coloring, I might try to make some gray to color that gray because sometimes you look up and you see a stratus cloud, it's got lots of gray in it. But I don't. So there we go. So the last cloud we're going to do is a nimbus cloud. And that's the rain cloud. And there, that's even thicker. And darker. <laughs> With lots and lots of moisture in that cloud. There we go, lots and lots of moisture. And there may be peaks. There, that's more. <laughs> now that's what I, this is where I really, really need. Maybe the blue or the gray food coloring. This is actually gonna be blue, but if you were to do a Nimbus cloud, you would want to see some gray, dark, dark gray. So I'm gonna pretend that the blue is dark, dark gray with lots of moisture in that cloud because it's gonna rain or snow any second now. <laughs> there we go. So now I'm gonna get some of this shaving cream off of my hands and we're gonna do another experiment to show you how rain, how water gets saturated in the cloud and kind of a little visual about when the when the water vapor raises up to the clouds and the clouds just get full and saturated with moisture how it actually rains so to do that i have oh, i have a clear container that you see there i have some water that we're gonna pour into it. Almost to the top as far as I can go. And then of course, we're gonna add a cloud with my shaving cream. Shake, 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 shake. And spray it all over the surface of the water. And you can do this at home. There it is. I think <laughs> that started out to be a cumulus cloud. It might turn into a nimbus cloud if it rains. Okay, so how are we going to make it rain? So what we're going to look at is right behind the jar like that. I'm going to hold up a white piece of paper. So what we're going to do is we're going to add our moisture to the cloud, and you can do this at home with food coloring. I have, I have water color paint, and I'm gonna put on water color paint as much as I can, and I'm gonna soak that cloud. And let's see how much water moisture, water vapor this cloud can take before it starts to rain. Oh, look what's happening. <laughs> the cloud got heavy with moisture, and now the precipitation starts to happen. Look at the rain. <laughs> the cloud on top got so full that gravity pulls that moisture down, and it begins to rain. Let's do a different color just for fun. So we can make this an art experience as well as a science experience. So now I'm doing green. Let's see if we can get some green rain here. Make our rain cloud saturated with moisture. There we go. And let's see how we're doing. Wow, it's raining in my jar. There we go. I think the purple took over. <laughs> We've now got a purple rainstorm. The green isn't showing up so much. There we go. Ta-da. <laughs> All right. So that's a little bit about why it rains, and we can show that with our shaving cream and, and everything. But here's another thing I was thinking. You know, when you see clouds, 
they look pretty solid, especially especially the um, the cumulus cloud. It looks like you could reach out and touch them and squeeze them just like we did shaving cream. But actually, it's just the water droplets together, you know, hanging on to each other, and it's not very solid. It's like jumping into a pool. You fall right to the bottom, and then you have to swim around. So what I was going to show you is I have a coin here, and I'm going to drop it all the way through the cloud to show you that clouds really aren't that solid. Here we go. They're just made out of water vapor. Dun, 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 dun. Dropping my coin all the way through. And it landed. All, oh, it landed all the way through at the bottom of my jar, which you can't see because it just turned purple. <laughs> but you can try that. Try it if you have some shaving cream and water at home. Try dropping your coin all the way through and see what lands on the bottom because clouds aren't very solid. In fact, if you are trying to do some, if you're trying to do some, experiments and you want to do um if you want to know what a cloud feels like go in your bathroom and shut the door and turn on the shower really really hot until it fogs up the mirror and it feels so humid that's kind of what a cloud feels like on the inside a whole lot of water vapor in the air and a whole lot of humidity so with our science classes that we do I like to have everybody make a tool that they can use to help you think about um, the clouds, maybe measure something or something to use that you can be a scientist and study um, whatever it is we're doing. And today, of course, it's clouds. So we're going to make a cloud viewer together. And I'm going to turn... I'm gonna turn the camera to the tables so again you can see what we're doing. We're gonna make a cloud viewer together. And to do this, we're gonna need some cotton balls, some scissors, some glue, some popsicle sticks, and a pencil, a ruler, and a piece of paper, which I actually dropped some, <laughs> some watercolor paint on and a little square so let me show you how we're going to make a cloud viewer that you can use when you go outside and try to tell the different kinds of clouds that we have so let's start with our paper now the different clouds that we talked about today were stratus and whoops where are you there we go stratus and cumulus and nimbus and cirrus. I'll cover up my mess there. <laughs> now we just talked about four different clouds, kinds of clouds today because those are the ones that are easiest to remember. But there's a lot more because they combine with each other. There's a <laughs> a cumulonimbus and you know that's just they combine and, and they mean different things and they do different things so if you have a square of paper sort of cardstock like I have here or, or um, poster board you can write the names of the clouds in each one of the corners I didn't do that today so I just printed them off and I'm gluing them but I'm gluing each one of the names of the clouds that we talked about today in each one of the corners there we go. So now, this is how is this going to be a cloud viewer? We're going to cut a hole in it. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. So, put my glue stick away. And I have a little square of paper that I'm going to put right in the middle, and I'm going to trace that square around with my pencil. And this is the view screen that we are going to use for our cloud viewer. So there we have that nice square in the middle. And I'm going to cut out that square with my scissors. So I use the point of my scissors to start, and then I start cutting around the square. 
all around. That's going to be the hole in my view. This is a piece of poster board. Or you can use cardstock, or you could use just an old cardboard box and some of the cardboard that's on that. But I happen to have some poster board. So here we go. And I cut my view screen just like that. So that's what we're going to look through. Okay. So now I want to take my markers and kind of separate the stratus from the cumulus, from the cirrus, from the nimbus. So I'm going to make some lines on there, right there. And down here, I'm going to separate it from there. And I'm going to separate it from there. And I'm going to separate it from there. OK, so now there's a little section over here. Those are going to be stratus clouds. Those are going to be cumulus clouds. Those are going to be cirrus clouds. Those are going to be nimbus. So to remind us of what they look like, that's where the cotton balls and the glue stick come in again. And do you remember what the cirrus clouds were wispy? OK, wispy, 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 wispy clouds. So we're going to put some, we're pulling the cotton balls apart, which are sticking to me, of course. And we're going to put our cirrus clouds in the cirrus section. There's a wispy cirrus, and another wispy cirrus, and another wispy cirrus. So that's what cirrus clouds look like, wispy and feather-like. Ta-da, whoops, OK. So let's do some cumulus. Now, cumulus, of course, we're puffy. And we can see a lot of shapes in them. So I'm going to fluff up my cotton balls really good and put some really puffy, puffy, puffy clouds in my cumulus section. OK. Now, do you remember stratus? Ah, yes, stratus were the blanket-like layers of clouds over the whole area. That's what that one was. So I'm really going to have to spread out my cotton ball now and make sort of a blanket-like area with my cotton ball flat. Flat, 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 flat. I might have to, there. <laughs> oh, I've got, still have shaving cream on me. OK, so let's make another flat stratus cloud over there. Flat, 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 really flat and blanket-like layers all over the place. OK, mushed. OK, so Nimbus. Oh my goodness. I'm going to do some Nimbus clouds. Now, they cover the whole sky, too, but they are a little bit gray. So I'm going to take my marker, and I'm going to take my cotton ball, and I'm going to try to color them gray a little bit here. Gray, gray rain clouds, because they're so full of moisture, they hardly let any light through. And they're full of water vapor rain. So there, can you see? I got some gray clouds here. And I'm going to just put one here on my Nimbus section to show you what I'm doing. OK. Ta -da. There we go. So now you can you have a cloud viewer. And I am going to go back to the regular camera and show you how to use it. Here we go. Regular camera. There we go. So there's your cloud viewer. So when you go outside, you can hold your viewer up to the sky and look at the clouds. And so turn it around so that you can see the names. And then you can find a cloud and hold it inside your viewer and compare it to, does it look like a cumulus cloud? Is it raining? <laughs> or is it a blanket? And that's what you can see through your viewer. So you can decide what you're seeing up in the sky when you have your cloud viewer with you. Now, if you want to, you can put a, you can tape a popsicle stick or two onto it like that and hold it. But I like to just hold it up to the sky. So 
We are almost done talking about the clouds today, but I'd like to end with a little poem to help you remember what the clouds are like, the four clouds that we talked about. And it goes like this. Cirrus clouds are feathery up in the sky. Feather, 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 feathers. Cumulus clouds are puffy shapes like animals way up high. Stratus clouds have layers forming everywhere, the whole sky. And in times of rainy weather, nimbus clouds are there. And that's the end. So I hope you had fun today doing some of the things along with me. And we'll see you next time. All right. Well, I hope you guys had fun exploring all of the clouds and cloud types and learning about rain. I always imagine what it would be like to walk up on one of those clouds. But I guess because that quarter dropped through, I can't do that. That's too bad. I'll just have to use my imagination. Yep. Well. Thanks for everybody that joined us. I uh, appreciate you joining us today. And uh, if you're catching this video on YouTube, if you want to join us live, all you have to do is go to greatlakeskids.org and click on our offerings. You can see all of our programs right there. You'll see that every Tuesday we do Get Crafty. So we're making things together and creating things and getting a little bit messy. On Thursdays, we're uh, telling stories. So we're telling tall tales or doing rhyming stories together, stories from literature, stories from the sky. And every Friday we're doing first step science. So we're creating and using scientific tools. We're exploring the world. So those are all at 11 o'clock right now. Those are all free. Eventually it's going to be part of a streaming service called GLCM Stream. So we hope you can join us for those. And if you want to support programming like this, you can go to greatlakeskids.org slash donate. We appreciate anything that you're able to give and it helps us keep these programs on the air when uh, nobody is coming through the museum doors right now. So uh, I hope that you join us live, and until next time, we'll say goodbye. Bye. Bye.